lot of people turn to, you know, CBD, for example, which is not psychoactive, but is a cannabinoid for pain relief and for, uh, you know, reducing incidence of seizure and for neurological disorders that are not necessarily responsive to uh, anything else. So I, I do think we're seeing a, a tremendous opening in terms of people's awareness of, you know, the, the value of cannabis for pain, for nausea, for glaucoma, for uh, post chemotherapy, you know, helping people to eat um, all the things that we've known about for a long time. Cannabis emerged from uh, the last ice age about 12 and a half thousand years ago wow. okay wow. and it came and it came out of the central siberian altai region that's where it came out and it headed north and it headed south and you know down through india and asia and all along the silk road and he was a great man i mean he was a uh, he was very ecumenical you know as he liked to say everybody in his church had a different religion i mean he had mm -hmm you know, as many books on Buddhism and Hinduism and, you know, all of the religions and philosophies of the world as he did on Christianity. He was he was a real scholar and and he was very supportive of my pursuits. Like guys go into the rainforest to uh, in Malaysia to harvest Tonkat Ali, which is a, a sex enhancing root from a tree. OK, and it's backbreaking labor and incredibly difficult to bring out of that forest because the forest is all these super slippery, steep, very, very steep, rocky, slidey hills all over the place. Mm -hmm. and there are like 27 kinds of poisonous snakes. You know, Jeez. six of them Jeez. are totally deadly if they bite you, and a couple are, <laughs> are, and a couple are aggressive. So it's like, you're screwed. Uh -huh. uh, that meant complete immersion into South Pacific culture. And becoming a you know an honorary chief there, and eventually their diplomat to the U.S. and uh, <laughs> you know, and, and then firewalking, <laughs> and and firewalking was completely unexpected. Uh, the brave, powerful warrior just marching fearlessly into the fire. I'm like, I'm going to stand in the back of the line <laughs> of all these native guys, and if absolutely not one of them dies in the fire. <laughs> Then I'll go, but other, so 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 the to make a, an incredibly long story very short, the, er, the very first time at the fire, a thousand people showed up. Maca M A C A is a root that that looks like a turnip that grows at very very high altitudes. So you know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand foot altitude in the Andes Mountains, and when you dry it, you then grind it into flour, and it's one of the great superfoods, very high in protein, uh, rich in um, minerals, and, and it contains novel compounds that really enhance energy and stamina in a kind of a big way. Mm -hmm. And in my very first ceremony, my first time drinking ayahuasca, I uh, wound up suddenly sitting with my mother on the porch just having a perfectly normal conversation and when that conversation was over the grief was gone and it never ever came back and that was the beginning of a a very deep involvement with uh, ayahuasca 